Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is Q Slice and today we're back with a uh, new the menu. Yeah. Okay, so let's just start a game now. We're in the menu because I want to start something new. I have been getting bored with just messing around and basically doing nothing to progress in the sandbox, so we're just gonna start a career mode. We're going to set the difficulty options to normal, but the default. We're gonna still playing on vanilla, KSP. But we're just gonna call this Curb Career. Or you know what no 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 Kiwi Career. There we go. But that's ten times better. So, let's get this thing started. Alright, we're here in the Space Center for our career mode. This looks totally different than your normal sandbox HUD and the Space Center itself. We barely have anything here, it looks like. But yeah, so let's just go with Gene Kerman. Yes, so we right click all over the space facilities, we left click them when we head inside. Yeah, yeah, got it. So, yeah, I've been planning to do this for a long time, I, but ever since the update came out, I could not figure out how to get this to work, because contract system was changed, but I figured out that this area right here, Mission Control, was recently added in with the update, so I'm just gonna enter in there. Hey, Eugene. Alright, so, this is where we actually get the contracts. So yeah, here we have gathered scientific data from Kerbin, launch for this festival, escape the atmosphere, and orbit Kerbin. So we have, we are able to take up two contracts, and so we're just going to get launch our first vessel, and we'll also try to gather scientific data, because science is also one of the key components. So, let's now just go into the VHA, or the VAB, I kept calling it the VHA for some reason, but it's called the VAB. So let's go into the VAB, and we here we've got Werner von Kerman. so yeah, we've got all of our uh, stuff here. So, as you can see, our HUD is totally different, there's not all these random command pods or whatnot, we just have our Mark 1. So we're gonna just on that. Now if we go into aerodynamics, we only have basic fins, we don't have any of the uh, heat shields or delta fins or whatnot. And also, I'd like to bring up a new part of Kerbal Space Program in this series, science. So right now we have a Mystery Goo trademark. It, I do not own this, it's not mine, but yeah, it's the Mystery Goo containment unit. So, we'll just go into... Um, yeah, I don't know the hotkeys for all of these things, so I'm just gonna... There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah. So this is to use science. Now, science points, basically like skill points in any RPG, I'll first launch the vessel with, but first we need some fuel tanks. We have none, so let's try, okay, we have a booster. We have a flea booster, that's fine. We should have a parachute. Here we are, a Mark 16. So yeah, now we also need crew members. We've got Jeb here, good old Jeb. So yeah. We just have one of these modular girder segments, we really don't need that right now. Uh, we don't have anything that can be used to transmit data, so I guess, yeah, this is just our first vessel. Uh, let's just call it, let's call this one, uh, number one. Why not? most creative name ever. So let's just save this and launch.
Okay, so as you can see here, we now have our meter of funds. So it costs money to make this rocket. So at the beginning, our funds were like uh, 250 monies. Now we've dropped to, or I, th I think by getting contracts, we got funding for this. But yeah, we have 28343. Three. I'm not really sure what the initial money is, but I'll just leave it right next to the money meter right now. So yeah, and here we have our reputation. So as you can see, we can either go down or up. This is basically based on whether we can complete contracts, whether or not people die. You're not gonna die, Jeb. You're not, trust me. And our signs. Currently, we have no signs points because we have not looked at our mystery goo containment. So we're just going to observe Mystery Goo, said Mystery Goo, and yeah, we have no way of transmitting it, so yeah, we'll just recover the data, we have, we get to keep three signs, this is all of our gathering scientific data from Kermit, Chigol, what's this note, so Recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kermit to achieve this goal. This basically just tells you how to achieve your con- how to complete your contracts. So yeah. And then you have your launch our first vessel, which you're just about to do right now! Yes. Okay. I forgot to do staging. That messed up. I also forgot to explain one of the things that I wanted to do. Since this is a real world type thing, I wanted to have a limited amount of reversions that I could do. So I would start out with three, and then I'll explain how I can gain more after this flight. So I'm just gonna fix the staging. So I'm down to two reversions. We'll just turn on SAS even though we don't have any of the science to use for it yet. But either way, it'll help because Jeb's a pilot. Hopefully. And we'll launch! So, yeah. As you can see, we've got little Jeb on our pod here. And now we can look at the next mystery view. And. Okay, we're gonna keep the data. Now as you can see, we have our red parachute, so that means it's a no-go on the parachute. So we're just gonna time skip here so that we can and trickle down to the surface of the Earth. Let's check our orbit map actually. Okay, so... The apoapsis is 8,000 meters around, so we're just going to go back to staging. Okay, we'll try to focus back in on our great vessel here. We'll just go into a bit of a time war. And... 3,000 meters, I think we'll be safe now. Oh, you know what? Nah, we can do it right now. There's no warning. So, yeah. So, as you can see here, we have our first contract completed. A very nominal launch. We couldn't ask for more. So, we gain... 3,817 monies, a science, and a reputation. So, yeah. And also we have our world's first milestones, we've broken our speed records, we launched our first vessel. We've broken sp more speed and altitude records. <coughs> and yeah. So that just gave us a lot of more money. 
times and then finds. So yeah, our parachute's opening. Come on, open faster. Open faster, please. See, so as you can see, that's a 25 mark. We just got a log. Um, I forgot what the word. So as you can see, we were at two twenty thousand eight hundred funds, I believe, monies in our funds here. Now we bumped up to nine thousand ninety thousand. So yay! Now that our piece has landed, we can recover the vessel. Alright, now that we're done with our first flight, we can... Okay, so we've got some science from this. We recovered all of our parts, and we have just gained some experience points. Which means we also completed our quest, which means we get more money, more science, and more of this. And then we also recovered the crew and performed one of our experiments. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, now I'm going to explain what I wanted to do with the reversions. So first let's go into the science building. So this is the science building, it's more like a, it's like a skill tree in any RPG like I said before. And so here we have our basic parts. Here we can research new parts for either um, thrust, aerodynamics, basically anything that you see on the charts there. <coughs> so what I wanted to do here was since I'm down to two reversions, every time I complete one of the columns completely, so since this has two, if I get all of two of these, I gain one more reversion. So I'm going to spend five science parts on one reliant, one hammer, and a fuel tank. And I'm also going to get some survivability and uh, I'm just going to have some more engineering, I, believe, I mean, so it gets me more science pieces so I can transmit data, and I also have a more advanced science research unit. And I also get a stack decoupler, which is also good. So, now I'm up to three reversions. I'm just gonna have a reversion counter on the top left. So, yeah. Now, also the only other time that I would be able to gain reversions is if you look here, we can upgrade our VAB. We can basically um, upgrade all of our pieces here so that we can get further reputation. That's what this was. So you can get a better reputation in this world of Kirby. So, yeah. So I guess if we can upgrade all of these parts by one level, then we can gain another two reversions. <coughs> so, yeah. Now let's enter into mission control. And as you can see here, since we just got some contracts done and we had upgraded our science, we now have more of these contracts that we can sub finish. So we can do an observational survey. Yeah, we can... So as you can see, we can test some radio mount parachutes. We can... So I would like to test the hammer solid fuel booster. And... Uh... I believe... We also can test the Mark 16 parachute right now. So I'm gonna enter the VAB again, 
and build ourselves a rocket. So we're just going to uh, get rid of this guy. Actually, we're going to uh, create a new rocket. We won't save any of that edits. So we're all once again going to go with an with a Mark One command pod. We also got some fuel tank, so that's pretty neat. So I'll just a hammer and a lot of So you know, I did a thing this episode where I got a hammer space and it had to look. So I'm just gonna save them and let's see if I can get some more characters to attach my rocket. And let's get some more RNG, go to survivability, so we can get some of these pieces and build a science. So right now we want to get a lot science, so we're just going to test. I'm not going to find Well, first I'm just going to take the contract of this guy with the parachute. <coughs> oh wait, oh, never mind. I didn't even pull this off with the hammer, because we can actually lift it across. So I guess we'll put a... No, no, I'll save science too much. We'll put a... We'll put a 60. Alright, we're also going to get some more science pieces on this, so we're going to discount. Two more mystery dudes, and three easy pins. We're gonna save, oh, we'll save the as number two, I guess, how it doesn't work any later, that much. <coughs> okay, this is the only one. We're gonna have some control tests, so we'll observe. Keep our data. We're going to reset. We're going to observe this guy. We're gonna keep data. We have our contracts, where we have Kerbin. We need a fly around this range and we gotta speed here and then okay i think we can do this so let's just launch so as you can see it isn't doing as much as usual because i limited the amount of thrust but I think it's gonna do well. So let's just kind of inch the rocket to the right. So uh, we can also splash down in the ocean. Let's see how we're doing on our contracts. So we're flying. We've gotten our speed, and we just need to make sure that we can get to uh, 63,000 meters. So this is gonna be good. All right, and sound kind of cut out there for a bit, but okay. okay. So let's take a look at our orbit map and see what our uh, apoapsis is going to be. Uh, come on. Uh, no! Again, dang it. We cut out. Or thrust it out. Wait, let's try to observe the materials now. Let's keep the data. Okay. Here we go. 
we can't use all the shit again. Yes, come on, slow down enough. Oh, oh, is it gonna work? 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 Gonna work? Yes! 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 <clears throat> we lost our science unit, but Jen is safe. That is wondrous. Well, I mean, we, we got that. Didn't we? I guess so. Well, we broke in more records. Let's recover our vessel. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, we got some more science. We recovered. Most of the parts, we lost a good hammer and a good science unit, but we saved Jem, and we now have a reputation of 26, it said, total reputation of 26. So let's go in here and get some survivability features. Now we can go in here. And put the thrust limiter on its max. No thrust inhib inhibitions. Because now, due to the survivability upgrade, you can add heat shield. Now it'll cost a bit more $4,600. But I don't think it's gonna be doing much. Now we still have these. That's all good. So, we're gonna call this 2.1 because we just upgraded it a bit. <coughs> but, okay, let's save this and launch again. Let's fly. Ooh, boy. Now this is a hammer's work. <coughs> I only had, you know, limited its thrust because I wanted Jeb to survive and I didn't want to use up one of my reversions. Especially since I got it back so soon. So, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, turn on SES, even if it doesn't help, because. Alright, that, that. Alright, let's take a look. It still doesn't look good. Uh huh. Looks funny. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's some more money that we got. So yay. Let's 
so let's once again recover our missile and we're going to leave our two contracts for next time so, thank you so much for watching